Hi, and welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at how to find the volume of a cube. Okay, over here we have a cube, and a cube is uh, like the Rubik's Cube. It's got six sides, six faces, um, four sides on the base, and they're all equal. So this particular cube has five sides of five, five, and five. Now, this is a prism. So we're going to look at the prism formula and kind of simplify it down to make it specific to the cube. Okay, the base area of a prism times the height that give us, gives us the volume. So we need to find the area of the base. Well, the base is just a square that's 5 by 5. So 5 times 5 gives us a base area of 25. So I'm going to plug a 25 in for my base area. Then I'm going to multiply it times the height of the cube, and the height is also 5, so I'm going to multiply that by 5. So 25 times 5 is 125, and because this is volume, it's units cubed because it's three-dimensional. Now let's simplify that down a little bit because we do have a special case. We have a cube where all sides are the same length. So since we have to find the base area and the height, and they're all the same, we can actually simplify that to s times s for the base area times s for the height, or s cubed. So that is how you would find the volume of a cube. So let's review very quickly. Here are the rules for the volume of a cube. It's just s times s times s, or s cubed. The units will also be cubed, so let's add that. Units cubed, whether it's inches cubed, or centimeters cubed. It is derived from the prism formula, which is base area, times height to get the volume. Base area of a square is s times s times the height, which is also s, gives us the volume of a cube. Hope this video was helpful on finding the volume of a cube.